Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing my everyday makeup look inspired by the fall season. This video should be going up on the first official day of fall. I always love to do an everyday makeup look at the beginning of every season and a few days ago I did this almost exact look that we're going to be doing today when I was filming something for Instagram and I just love how it turned out. I loved the colors and this combination of products so I figured I would also share it in a YouTube video. If you're new here my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Let's get started. Okay I have my drink with me today. I'm having tea. I really wanted to have coffee but it's late in the afternoon when I'm filming this and I've already had two coffees today so I'm trying to not have afternoon coffee anymore even though I really really want it sometimes so I'm drinking tea instead in my sip and makeup cup. This is part of my merch that's linked in my store in the description box of the videos now so if you want your own sip and makeup cup you can get one there. Let's get started with color corrector. I'm going to skip primer today. I didn't use primer a few days ago when I did this, so I'm going to skip that. And we're going to go in with my very well-loved Sigma color corrector. I really love this one. As you can see, I've hit major pan on one of the shades. I'm going to apply this under my eyes. So I use the darker shade the most which is uh, this one here. And I love applying this one with my finger. If you want a really hydrating, moisturizing color corrector for under your eyes, I definitely recommend this one from Sigma. It's not like a full coverage, but it gives decent coverage and it's, it's just very, very creamy and hydrating under the eyes. And then sometimes I'll take a little bit of this shade here, which is the lighter one, and apply a little bit of that right in this inner corner because I also tend to get a good bit of darkness there. Okay, for foundation, you guys, I've been using this. I know I showed it in my birthday makeup haul video, the new Fenty I always forget the name, Blur Stick, Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. I got that uh, for my birthday like a week and a half, two weeks ago, and I've been using it just on my own. The other day when I filmed the makeup I was talking about, I used this, and I was so surprised how much I like this. I mean, I thought I would like it because I love this one so much, the original one, but... I liked it even more than I thought. I have the shade 3, which is the shade that I wear in the original one, the liquid one, so I went with shade 3 in this. I was not expecting this to be as creamy as it is. It is extremely hydrating and creamy, but it does kind of set down to, I would say, more of a natural finish. It's not I don't think it's quite as matte as this one when it dries down, but it is very, very nice. And it's not full coverage by any means, but the coverage is pretty decent on it. I was just pleasantly surprised because a lot of times in the past, I haven't loved a ton of stick foundations, but... I really like this one. It's just so nice for every day. It's super thin and doesn't feel like you're wearing a ton on your skin, but it does give you some coverage. I think it is really, really nice. And the other day, or the few times that I've worn it, it has worn really well on me also. Actually, I know what this reminds me of, and I don't even know if they still make this product, but a few years ago, Bare Minerals came out with the Hydrating Stick Foundation. It was the Complexion Rescue Stick. 
That is what this reminds me of. However, the complexion rescue stick, I could never get to work for my skin. I could never get really much coverage at all from it. And it also just didn't wear well on me. Um, but I remember it being so creamy and hydrating, the formula. That's what this reminds me of, but it gives better coverage, it wears better, and it just looks better overall on my skin. So if you're familiar with that product, the consistency of this really reminds me of that. Okay, for concealer, again, Natasha Denona, I just, like I've said a thousand times, I just can't stop using this stuff. So here we are. Shade N2. Also have RN3, which also works, um, but I'm just gonna use N2 today. Okay, I'm gonna use the Sigma FO3 to blend the Natasha concealer. I'm feeling really, really good today. I have talked about in one of my last videos in the last few weeks how I haven't been feeling great really for the month of August and the very beginning of September. I've just been having some stomach issues that I can't really seem to figure out and it's just kind of been making me feel bad all over for a few weeks now but the last few days I have been feeling really, really good. And today I woke up and I felt really good and it just kind of makes you think differently about things. I feel like sometimes it's really easy to take for granted feeling good and especially when you're younger, it's easy to kind of, I don't know what how else to say it, but to take it for granted when you feel healthy and well and like yourself on a daily basis and when you go through a period where you don't you really don't feel well when you do have a day or days when you feel really good it's kind of one of those things where it makes you really appreciate feeling good and how important it is how important your health is because without your health you don't really have anything honestly and something that's been on my mind especially today because I woke up feeling really good today. I couldn't wait to film and the last few weeks have been really tough. I haven't been in a great place physically or mentally really and I don't know. It just makes me grateful for the days that I do feel well. So I don't know where I'm going with this. I just wanted to put it in here as a reminder. If you are going through anything right now, if you're going through a phase like that, that you are not alone and I have definitely been through phases like that and it's hard to stay positive sometimes but really that's the best thing to do even though it's usually the hardest thing to do and I don't know I'm just thinking out loud but those are kind of the thoughts in my head today okay for bronzer we're gonna use this one this is the persona multi stick which I've had for a long time they recently came out with a new shade which is Mojave, I think is how you say it, but it's a really good neutral leaning shade for like fair light skin tones because before their lighter shade was, or it's called Dune, and it's a really great cream bronzer, but it's very, very warm. So for me, I can really only wear that shade if I have a good bit of sun, and even then I have to be kind of light-handed with it. So they came out with this new shade and I used it the other day when I did this look and this is such a good color of cream bronzer if you have fair skin. I'm just gonna use this Makeup by Mario brush and kind of get it on there. But this color, you guys, is so perfect. Especially if you have a lighter skin tone. Fair light, I should say. So it's perfect for me right now with fall and winter coming up because obviously I uh, 
and much more fair during those seasons. So this will be really, really nice. And this formula is really, really good. Really nice, easy to use, very easy to apply. And this color is perfection. Okay, before we go in with blush, I wanna powder my face. So I pulled this out the other day and loved it with this makeup, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just gonna lightly set my whole face with this. Now this is the best part. This is what really screams fall to me. I pulled this out the other day and it's this blush from Patrick Ta. I feel like this color definitely does not get the hype it deserves. This is the shade Oh She's Different. So this is not one of his newer shades, but it is a beautiful wine kind of berry color. And every time I use this, I am just floored by how pretty this color is. Kind of similar, I think, to his newer, I think it's She's Wanted shade that's a little bit brighter than this one, but this is Oh She's Different and it's just the most beautiful, gorgeous, warm, kind of berry wine color. I really, I don't use this shade as much as I should, but it screams fall to me. Every single time I pull it out and use it, I remember how beautiful it is. I'm gonna use my Smashbox buildable cheek brush and I'm going in with the powder first. It has like a little bit of a almost mauve undertone to it and it's so pretty but I feel like no one ever talks about this color. This is probably the one I hear about the least and it should be talked about because it's beautiful. And then can use a brush with the cream also, but I usually use a sponge with the cream and I usually kind of get it on there and then tap it off. I mean, how pretty is that color? I haven't seen the new She's Wanted shade in person. I've only seen it like on his Instagram, but it looks kind of similar to this, just uh, a little bit more pigmented and deeper. I think a little bit better for like medium deep skin tones, but poor little Oh She's Different does not get the hype that it deserves. For brows, I'm gonna use NYX Micro Brow. Old Faithful for me in the shade Cool Ash Brown. I'm gonna use the Merit Single Shadow in the shade Vachetta. The more I use this, the more I really, really like it, you guys. I wore this a few days ago uh, and I did not use any eye primer or anything. And it wore great on me. It did not crease or do anything weird or wear away throughout the day. It lasted perfectly. So I am really enjoying this one. I really will probably get a second shade now because I just love how easy these are for like just really quick, easy, one and done eyeshadow. I love it. Then I took this, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner. This is the prettiest color. It just goes with the whole fall vibe really well. So that's it there. It's like a wine berry colored eyeliner. And I, I feel like I only pull this out every now and then, but every time I do, I love the way it looks. So I'm gonna line my eyes with this. 
also kind of align in my water line with it. So I'm just kind of doing like a rough sketch of it. Just grabbing a pencil brush. This one is from BK Beauty and just kind of going over it and smudging it a little bit. But this tone is so pretty. This pillow top color. I need to get this out and use it more because it's it's beautiful. So I just kind of lined very, very lightly and then made sure I got some in my waterline also. Really kind of focusing between the lashes. And then I'm also going to take just a tiny bit of the Merit Shadow on my bottom lash line also. And that's basically it for the eyes. So two products, very typical eye look for me. I'm going to curl my lashes and then we will move on to mascara. I'm using e.l.f. Lash and Roll in brown, of course. My favorite everyday, more natural mascara. And for the lips, I've really been loving this shade of the Anastasia Lip Liners. It's Muted Mauve. Just kind of, it's a nude, but it just has a little bit of like a rosy, mauve undertone. I really like the Anastasia lip liners actually. And I wore this color the other day and I loved it. Love that color. These last really, really well. They're creamy even though they're like a typical wooden pencil. I'm gonna go back into the Patrick Ta blush, the cream and apply that on my lips. And then on top of that, the Dior Lip Oil in Mahogany. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. And I just thought this is a really perfect, easy, everyday, fall-esque inspired makeup. And I loved it the other day. It wore well when I wore it and I wanted to share it in a video. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I will have all the products listed and linked below for you. They are affiliate links, so I do make a commission if you shop through them. That supports me and this channel, so thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok, simply.blair1, and I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you.